The EU has informed Beijing of its intention to impose tariffs of up to 38% on imports of Chinese electric vehicles, or EVs, potentially leading to over $2 billion in annual duties and igniting a trade dispute with China. The upcoming provisional tariffs, set to take effect next month, are the result of a nine-month investigation into alleged unfair subsidies for Chinese battery electric vehicles, or BEVs, from brands such as BYD, Geely, and SAIC. The EU contends that these subsidies are detrimental to the European industry, as they enable artificially low prices for Chinese imports. Tariffs will vary based on cooperation with the investigation, with a top rate of 38.1% for SAIC and 20% for Geely. Meanwhile, BYD will face a 17.4% duty. Tesla, which cooperated, may initially face a 21% tariff, subject to revision. EU Vice President Mangaritis Shinas stated that the investigation showed China's car production benefited from unfair subsidies, which threatened EU BEV producers. The bloc has contacted China to discuss the findings, as well as possible resolutions. European manufacturers anticipate retaliatory measures from China, which is the EU's third-largest vehicle export market, valued at nearly 200 billion euros in 2023. The EU expects China to impose counter-duties on various exports, including French cognac and dairy products. Chinese car manufacturers' overcapacity is becoming a global issue. Chinese-made EVs captured 21.7% of the EU market in 2023, which is up from 2.9% in 2020. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has argued for fair competition, urging China not to dump surplus products in the EU. The EU has made a decision that is in line with similar actions taken by the US, which has imposed 100% tariffs on Chinese electric vehicle imports, and Turkey, which has announced 40% tariffs. G7 leaders are expected to discuss coordinated responses to China's overcapacity at their upcoming summit in Italy. A spokesperson from the Chinese Foreign Ministry criticized the tariffs as protectionism, pointing out opposition from both European politicians and industry representatives, particularly in Germany, which is concerned about potential retaliatory measures on its exports to China.